Doctor Who, Saturday at 7.30 on BBC One. Rules of Abstraction with Matthew Collings, tonight at 10 on BBC Four. It's more than knowledge that's needed now on BBC Two. Patience and lateral thinking need linking in Only Connect. Welcome to Only Connect, the show that puts the OC into OCD. And if you have OCD, you'll be thinking, but what was it before they put the OC into it? Just D? That doesn't work. Any viewers who are concerned that I'm poking fun at a condition I don't understand, don't worry, that's not how we think on this show. To be honest, I'm not really thinking about anything, apart from whether I accidentally touched the light switch an odd number of times before I left the dressing room. I might have to go back. In the meantime, let's meet the teams. On my right, Rob Hanna, a company director and qualified lion tamer with degrees in linguistics, art history and philosophy. Craig Element, a computer programmer with an interest in classical history who enjoys fantasy sports competitions but is terrified of spiders. And their captain, Gareth Kingston, a marketing manager and cricket umpire who enjoys creative writing and leading walking tours of London. United by a passion for the past, they are the history boys. Now, Gareth, this isn't the team's first time on Only Connect, is it? No, we took part in Series 2 and came up against the rugby boys in the first round, the all-conquering rugby boys, as it turned out. They were series champions and we were a first-round exit. But you thought you'd come back for another visit? Well, you know, you learned lessons of history and uh, we waited until you could play the first round and lose and still have another go before we'd come back. That's the spirit. You'll be playing the first round tonight against, on my left, John Jenkins, a medieval history tutor and keen record collector, whose voice is featured on the audio tour of Tor Abbey in Torquay. Ian Hewson, a law graduate who practices Chinese martial arts and enjoys amateur choral singing. And their captain, Justin Floyd, a history graduate who hails from Georgia and boasts a significant collection of ceramic dog figurines. They all live, work and study in Oxford. They are the Oxonians. So, Justin, how have the Oxonians been preparing for Only Connect? Well, John and his lovely girlfriend invited us over for dinner. We had a nice meal and then we did a bit of practice for a couple hours, had some chats. So, all in all, just pleasant practice, nothing too out of the normal for us. That sounds horribly relaxed. I'm not sure I approve. Hey, this was in, this was in the evening. We, we watched Only Connect as well, so... That sounds better. That always takes the joy out of an evening, I find. <laughs> In round one, I will be asking, what is the connection between four apparently random clues? But if the teams can tell me, while seeing fewer than four clues, they will get more points. History boys, you won the toss. You'll be going first. Please choose your Egyptian hieroglyph. Could I have lion, please? You certainly may. Oh. The music question immediately. Mm. What is the connection between the clues you're going to hear? Here's the first. <laughs> Back the knife. Um, next, please. This is original versions of the song. Of songs that came from the Yeah. 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 What did we hear? Mac the knife. Or rather... Mac und knife. The Moretat von Maki Messe. Um, and um, my way. Or... Comdabitude or something. It is oh. Comdabitude. Yeah. You didn't need to hear Io che non vivo senza te, which would be... No idea. You don't have to say you love me. And of course, Mary Hopkins, those were the days in Russian would be... I, I know it in the original. Dorogoi dlinoyu. You didn't need to hear them. Well done. Three points for you. Oxonians, please choose a hieroglyph. The Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. 
Well, the Pope John the Twentieth did he die in office? Did he has he become a saint recently? No. no. This is on YouTube. Next, the Traveling Wilburys Volume well Two. Um, did they wear? Um, did they have any hats? Did they? Did they have any person involved? Um, Why was it Volume Two? Why was it Volume Two? You know the album. Well, next. Australian Open 1986. Oh, yeah. Did it move somewhere? Was it held in January? January Pope? Oh, the month of the January Pope. Next! 3rd to September. It didn't exist. It didn't exist. Five seconds. These are all things that did not exist. They did not, not exist. exist. Very well done. What can you tell me about any of the clues? Well, the Australian Open 86 was asked when they moved from December to January, and so there was not a December 86 edition of that. Um, the 3rd to September, 3rd to 13th of September 72 is when the change of calendar happened in England, I think. It was the move from the Julian to Gregorian calendar. And what about Pope John 20? I'm going to guess that Pope John the Twentieth died before he could take office? Uh, no, it's actually John the Twenty-first thought there had already been oh. a John the Twentieth. So uh, took a Twenty-first by mistake. Not so infallible. And the Travelling Wilburys Volume 2, there's a Volume 1 and a Volume 3, but they missed out the middle one, uh, hilariously. So that's a point to you, Oxonians, and back to the History Boys to choose a question. Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Um, I don't know. Um, next, please. Between these are subtitles of well known books, so I, I guess. Um, but is there a connection between the titles? Should we go in one more? Yeah. Next, please. A set of lies agreed upon. Oh, unless. Um, oh, it's, it's a definition of something. Definition of something. It's, is it history? It's history, isn't it? It's got to be history. Yeah. A set, a set of lies yeah. agreed upon. Should we go for it? Yeah. History. These are descriptions of history. You didn't need to see the last clue. More or less bunk, yes. that was Henry Ford. But various people describing history. Very well done, history boys. And Oxonians, it's back to you for a choice. Um, could we have the twisted flax, please? You certainly may. What connects these clues? Here's the first. Okay, Henry Penn. Um, he's, 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 he's the beast in the answer. Oh, he's the beast in the answer. Yes, he had other names. Well, but, um, oh, no, or was he giant? He's the answer. No, he's giant. Uh, Next. Um, so going to to giant 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 are these um, titles of Beatles songs? They are not all titles of Beatles songs. So, History Boys, you've got the chance for a bonus point. It's all things that are yellow. They are all things that are yellow. The last one refers to the Beatles song, Yellow Submarine. Emberitza citronella is the, uh, the yellow hammer. It's a bird. Oh, okay. <laughs> Flavivirus fabricus. Yellow fever. Yellow fever, oh. when you're all shivery and hot. Although, yeah. to be honest, I am every morning anyway. I think it's the gin. And the first one... Henry Pym, who's that? That is Giant Man or Ant Man. Well, now you see he's not. He is a superhero, sometimes called Ant Man. Yellow Jacket oh. is one of the things he was in the Marvel comics. And sometimes he was Ant Man and his sidekick was a sexy wasp. Okay, so a bonus point for you, History Boys, and the chance to choose a question. Two reads, please. Two reads. What connects these clues? Here's the first Guns, it could be anything. Um, next, please. Jersey again could be anything. Cattle, yeah, it could be breeds of cattle. But let's go next, please. Balaclava. Oh, the, the items named after places. Well, they're just places, aren't they? Um, like balaclavas, an item of knitwear. Clothes, yeah. Items of knitwear named after places. Is Guernsey knitwear? Do we want to see another one? I think there is a Guernsey, but shall we next, please? Yeah, yeah. Keen. I see it's items of clothing named yeah. after places. Items of clothing named after a place. That's exactly what they are. Do you know Guernsey? No, unless you wear a cow or something. Do you know what a Guernsey is in clothing? No, no. Like a sweater. It, it is a sweater. It specifically, it's worn by people playing Australian rules football. Oh. Mm. But 
to... Nobody play Australian rules football here? No. no, we sit inside and read like proper people. <laughs> OK, Oxonians, one question remains. I think you can probably guess it's going to be the picture question because we haven't had that yet. It's denoted by water. Here's the first clue. Okay, that's Kindle. 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 Buck teeth. Buck teeth. Buck teeth. So, next. Buck teeth. My fuse moustache. Uh, were they all insured? Oh, yes, way. insured things. Do you want to hear the next one? Um, the insured, parts, insured parts of the body. Insured parts of the body. It'll be um, just the same gowns, teeth. Can mm. we go with it? Mm, yeah. Insured parts of the body or insured things that have been insured? Well, I'll take it. Can you tell me anything else? Um, they had something taken out with Lloyds of London, perhaps? That's what it is. All insured by Lloyds of London. The last clue, which you didn't see, was the Titanic, not a part of the body, but um, neither was it a great gamble by Lloyds of London. Ken Dodd's teeth, Merv Hughes's moustache, and who's that in the third picture? Uh, that's the million dollar legs, isn't it? Um, of? Betty Grable? It is Betty Grable with the fabulous legs. Well done. All things insured by Lloyds of London. That means at the end of round one, the Oxonians have four points, the History Boys have seven. In round two, the teams still have to work out the connection between four apparently random clues, but they may not see the fourth clue because I want to know what it is. The clues will come in sequence and I will ask what should be fourth. History Boys, you're going first again. Which question would you like? Could I have lion, please? Lion. OK, you will see the first in a series of clues. What would you expect to see fourth? The time starts now. No, um, these, these, these are, are the first James Bond films. So it will be Moore, Dalton, so it will be Daniel Craig, and the Casino Royale's baddie was Le Chief. Le Chief. Should we go for it? Craig Le Chief. Right. Craig Le Chief. Right well, it can't go back more, the other way, can it? It was Moore, Dalton, Brosnan. Yeah, it can't go back the other no, way. It can't. So, Craig Le Chiffre. Craig Le Chiffre. Goodness me, you spent a lot of Boxing Days in front of the TV. The answer is Craig Le Chiffre. They are the first villains encountered by successive James Bonds, Dr Kananga, General Koskoff, Alec Trevelyan, and the first villain met by Daniel Craig was Le Chiffre, the terrible poker player. Mm -hmm. But then again, James Bond in that film was also a terrible poker player. Everyone in the film was a terrible poker player. Let me tell you, I'd like to have got my hands on a suitcase full of money and join that game. Oxonians. The Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. What would you expect to see forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Sanitation, yeah. healthcare, something like that. Yeah. The next. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's either the road or the healthcare, isn't it? So, <laughs> it's either the road or the healthcare. Um, We'd have to go for another one, be sure. Yeah. I think it's probably going to be. Next. That's where we can go for it. Is it medicine? Medicine, healthcare, something like that. Five seconds. Fourth, the medicine or the healthcare? Not the answer, I'm afraid. So another bonus chance for you, history boys. So first, aqueduct, sanitation. Apart from aqueduct, I need your answer right away. Education. Not it either. Far more important. Fourth, irrigation. Ah. I think you recognise these are things the Romans have done for us, according to the life of mm. Brian. And fourth would be irrigation. OK, history boys, what would you like now? I have Horus, please. I have Horus. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Heresy. Is this circles of hell or something like that? Um, should we go next? Next, please. Seven or something. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. What big heresy violence? Next, please. Fraud. So what's the ninth? Kind of oh, it's like how oh God's program pro um, uh, oh, makes progress or something like that. Possession of one tenth of the law. Is that what it is? I don't think so. Um, the so these, these are sins, aren't they? Yes. Drunkenness. Yeah, go for that. Ninth drunkenness. Not the answer by any means. Oxonians, you have the chance of a bonus point. Ninth treason. I'll take it. Treason or treachery. These are the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth circles of hell, according to Dante. And what's the tenth circle of hell? Where the, the Satan is himself, chewing on this on the bodies of. 
Actually, no. In the published works of Dante, there are only nine circles, and the ninth and final one is treachery. But in what they call the lost papers, tenth circle is the connecting wall. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be meeting that later. Oxonians, you get the bonus point. What would you like as a question? We have two reads, please. Yes, you may. These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. <laughs> Next. That is oh. a person. Um, no. <laughs> He's a singer, probably. Oh. Uh, next. Snap, Iggy. Something. Pop. Something pop. Um, Iggy. Snap. Crackle pop. Um, 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 who is the second one? Brown pop. Five seconds. A bottle of water fizzing. And why would that be? I think it might be a sequence snap, crackle, pop, fizz. I think I'm combining two different <laughs> merchandise slogans, though. That's not the answer, I'm afraid. So, History Boys, bonus chance for you. A picture of a pup. It is a picture of a pup. A lovely seal pup we've gone Very for. Good. And why is that? You've got Pep Guardiola, Pip, as in Gladys Knight, and the Pips, uh, Iggy Pop. So, you've got P and P with an E, I, O, and then U for pup. That's right, we're changing the vowel going through the alphabet. Pep, pip, pop, pop. It's your boys, your turn. Twisted flax, please. Twisted flax, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Savannah, these types of territory, um, uh, African territory. Should we go next? What would come forth? Go next. Next. Isla. Um, are, are these. Are these Isla Sinclair, um, Savannah, these, these women's names. Um, what, what, would be, what would be next? next? The final one? George, uh, Savannah. It, these are uh, Queen's grandkids, are they? Okay, it could be. Um, so, uh, George's in last week. No, I don't know. There's a new oh, one, no. isn't there? Yes, it's. Um, oh, it's Five seconds. Kid. It's um, Lily Grace. Mia Grace, Mia Grace. Um, Mia Thank Grace. You. Mia is all we need to hear yeah. because, as I heard you muttering, these are the Queen's great-grandchildren in order of birth. George is the, uh, the one that would be ahead in line to the throne in that list, and Mia is the latest daughter of Zara Tyndall and her husband, Mike. Well done, Oxonians. One question remains again. I believe it's water. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Emily Next. Made master of the Next. Next. Wade. Oh, these are British champions. At, uh, these are British uh, uh, female, tennis champions. female tennis champions. So those are all British as well. No, yeah, so, so it's going to be um, Murray and Who? Murray and isn't it? Um, yes, so. well, um, oh, Three seconds. Murray, 2013. That is the answer. Yes, when. Andy Murray won Wimbledon and everybody said, oh, we haven't had a champion since Fred Perry. Not the case. We had Mortimer, 1961, Hayden Jones, 1969, Wade, 1977. Those noble women who were British Wimbledon singles champions. That means at the end of round two, the Oxonians have seven points. The History Boys have 15. Time now for that tenth circle of hell. It's the connecting wall. Sixteen clues that need sorting into four connected groups of four. Oxonians, your turn to go first this time, and you have the choice, lion or water? Um, we'd like the water wall, please. OK, you have got two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. OK, Kerry is a... Uh, is, um, Stephen King. Greece and Hairspray are both... Um, both um, macaroni penguin, emperor penguin, uh, rock opera penguin, and king penguin. There's a king. Um, there's four, but do we have a fifth one that could be... The bolt penguin, is that one? Um, ho holding position? Holding bolt? Um, oh, these are, these are um, uh, Jamaicans. Oh, so holding and bolt. Oh, he's Trinidadian, isn't he? Um, joint. Marley, bolt, Marley, Elba, Jamaican. Elba, holding and 
Jones. Okay, um, um, elbow grease, elbow room, elbow joint, nice. and elbow spin. spin. So those four, yeah. the only four can be, I think. Elbow spin? Yeah. yeah, elbow spin, isn't um, But let's try. Fairy. So fairy, very liquid, basic, basic is a computer language. Um, basic. So, um, basic. Well, uh, should, we, should we get the elbow? Very god. Let's get the elbow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, no, we, 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 then we'd only have three guesses yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. We, okay. Well, let's try the king ones. We have rock yeah. hopper, emperor, yeah. macaroni, and king. We tried that already, but yeah. we have a fifth that could be. Mm. The, the fairy penguin? The fairy I can penguin. Fairy penguin. We'll try it with that. Oh, okay, good. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay so I'm going to hide three of them. Now. The elbows, yeah. elbow joint, elbow room, mm. elbow, elbow grease. grease. Okay, so I'm going to connect them to the hairspray, macaroni. macaroni. Oh, they're all musicals, aren't they? Oh, no. no Carrot, um, hairspray. Hairspray. hairspray is a musical. Macaroni, you have macaroni and cheese. Uh, macaroni, macaroni. Oh, macaroni was the name for um, a horse. Toffs in the 17th, 18th century. Um, yeah. um, basic. Basic. Yeah. basic is a programming language. Yeah. Carrot. Yeah. Not really basic. like that. Basic. Uh, Carry on, Fisher, carry on films. Uh, Carrie Fisher, uh, Carrie Grant. Uh, no, it's different yeah, spelling. Um, Carrie Fisher, um, uh, Hairspray. Hairspray. Hairspray is um, Ricky Blake. Um, was in that, the remake of it. John Travolta. Uh, who starred in Carrie in the film? Thirty seconds. Hairspray. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Should we? Um, well, no, I'm not sure we're going to get Oh, should we get to stick and spin? Oh, it's not, oh, it's not that brilliant. Two uh, strikes okay. now. Elbow. Drum, elbow. Can't be elbow. Mm. Elbow macaroni? I think it's probably... Five seconds. Nice. Oh, that's <laughs> it. You've solved the wall with just a few seconds to go. And you'll get extra points, of course, for the connections. So, Jones, Marley, Bolt. Holding. So those are Jamaicans, I believe. Jamaican, Jamaican persons. Celebrated Jamaicans. It was yeah. Grace Jones at the beginning, Bob um, Marley, of oh, course, of course, Usain Bolt, and Michael Holding, the cricketer. And the next one, Rock Hopper, Fairy, Emperor, King. Um, types of penguin or names of penguins? Those are the penguins. Spin, macaroni, joint, room. Or can be prefixed by elbow. That's right. You were, it's elbow, elbow macaroni. macaroni you hadn't come across. It's just a sort of little thing. tubular <laughs> pasta. Oh, elbow macaroni. Oh, yes, I have come across. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, like, yes. Like, like, like yeah. an yeah. joint. Yes. Yeah. That's it. I, I've uh, come across most types of pasta, as the viewers in HD <laughs> can probably see. <laughs> and the last group, carry. Basic <laughs> hairspray <laughs> grease. Okay. Okay. These are yeah. musicals? They are not all musicals. Now, I heard you muttering this while you're playing the wall, so you'll kick yourselves. They are all films featuring John, John Travolta. Oh, you're right. I just said it. Just yes, but you do get four points for finding the groups, three bonus points for the connections. That is a total of seven. So a fresh, torturous connecting wall has been prepared for the History Boys, who will be coming back in for their turn. Still need to sort it out into four connected groups of four. You'll be getting the Lion Wall, because water's been taken. Mm -hmm. You have two and a half minutes to solve it. Starting now. Half buns, Chelsea buns, um, Doge of Venice, cathode rays, Maidley, Richard Maidley, um, boarding, snowboarding, oh no, we've got some, ski boarding, so what have we got? Cowboy, Cowboy boots, boots, snowboy boots, Wellington um, boots, gum boots. Okay, okay. Not, um, what else are the types of boots? Churchill, um, What's Ludlow going to be? It's in Shropshire, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, oh Shrewsbury's in Shropshire. Yeah. Um, Unless we go for buns. Uh, Noel Coward. Is um, Wellington? Where's the Wellington? Is it, are these dogs? Wellington, Churchill dog. Shrewsbury, Ludlow, maybe. Oh, okay. okay. Um, Still got the Bolter dog, isn't it? From the Bolter yes, dog. Yes, it is, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, the is a dog from the internet thing, isn't okay. it? Okay. Really Churchill's a dog. Snow or oh, snowy, um, Bond. Really? Um, no. What would cathode be? Um, cathode. Well, you have cathode ray. You have. So we've got. We've still got buns. Bath bun. Chelsea bun. Uh, um, I don't know. Coward and gum. No. Cowards. What could coward be? Um, it's got words at the end. You've got now, old. Maybe. Mm. Mm. It's a bit tenuous. Yeah. Um, cow Boarding. Well, you have cowboy back. You've got a minute left. Yeah. Churchill. He's, he's bolt that dog from. Well, still, dog. still on dogs. Maybe. Churchill. Um, try, try snow. Girls' names Kath, 
Um, or you've got animals. Object, dog. Cow. Cow. Dog. Uh, dog. Cow. Um, I've got two cows now. Um, oh, right, yeah. um, bat. A boar. And cat, you've got cats, don't forget cats. We've still got snow boots, gun boots. Ten seconds. Yep. Um, Three strikes. Cowboy, snow, gun. Three seconds. That's yeah. it, the time is up. But you found two groups and you can get bonus points for the connections. Shrewsbury, Wellington, Ludlow, Maidley. Places in Shropshire. They're all in Shropshire. Bath, Boarding, Doge, Cathode. They've all got animals' names in them. I start bat, boar, dog, cat. That's right. Hidden at the beginning, bat, boar, dog, cat. Animal names at the start. And you can still get points for the connections mm -hmm. in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. Chelsea, Gum, Snow, Cowboy. Boots, is it? Types of boots. Yeah, boots. Those are the boots. You started Those looking for that group early and gave up. You didn't look for yeah, Chelsea. Didn't know Chelsea. And the last group, Bolt, Bond, Churchill, Coward. Are these dogs? Churchill and Bolt are. Yeah, are dogs. these fictional dogs? They are not dogs. Uh, what they are is English playwrights. Robert Bolt, oh, Edward Bond, Carol Churchill, Noel Coward. Okay. Playwrights. Mm. But you get two points for finding the groups and three more points for connections. That is a total of five. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the scores going into round four. The Oxonians have 14 points. The History Boys have 20. The final round is the Missing Vowels round. We've taken well-known names, phrases and sayings, taken out the vowels and squidged up the consonants. I want to know what the hidden words are. So fingers on buzzers. The first group are all things that come in twelves. Oxonians? Labors of Hercules. That's correct. History boys? Tribes of Israel. Correct. History boys? Angry men. Yes, it is. Oxonians? Months of the year. Yes. Next category, TV talent shows. Is your boys? Stars in their eyes. Yes, it is. Is your boys? New faces. Yep. Oxonians? Pop idol. Yes. Is your boys? Opportunity knocks. Indeed so. The next category, they include or contain cabbages. Oxonians. Sauerkraut. Yes. History boys. Cold cannon. Correct. History boys. The walrus and the carpenter. Cabbages and kings, yes. Oxonians. Cracker Jack. Correct. Next category, music hall songs. Your boys? Waiting at the church. Yep. No time to give me the answer to the last one, which would have been boiled beef and carrots. Not sure how many old musical songs you guys know over there, but that is the end of the round, and the final scores are Oxonians 19, History Boys 28. So very well done, History Boys. You are straight through to the next round. But Oxonians, you're also through to the next round. Just a slightly worse next round <laughs> in our structure that I still don't completely understand. But we'll be seeing all of you again, and that's it for tonight. The next confrontation will be between host and wine glass. Goodbye. Alex Polizzi means business here on BBC Two Next. Tonight, she's the fixer helping a family of sausage makers trade with the big boys. And BBC Four's abstract season begins now, hearing from the artists in their own words. And brand new to BBC Three Next tonight, getting up close with the young donor retrieval team in the Human Tissue Squad.